So today is gonna be a day of activities in repairing. So we ordered a new water pump. Uh, I wanna say this gave out on us. We've had this RV full time living in it for probably two over two years now maybe. This probably gave out, I wanna say three or four months ago. Um, luckily here at the work camp though, you know, we have the city hookups. So we've just been doing our water purely like that. Haven't been doing a whole lot of boondocking. All the travels y'all been seeing all over the state of Georgia, we've had hookups. And so we just connected the city water. Um, but we are planning on doing a lot of boondocking this fall. And so we wanted to go ahead and get this fixed. So the pump that we have a 2018 little guy max. So the model number is 4008-101-A65. So this is a 12 volt, um, 7.5 max amps, switch off pressure, 55 PSI, 3.7 bar flow, 3 GPM, 11.3 LPM, whatever the heck that means. So we reached out to uh, Little Guy Max, the great folks over there being ambassadors. They sent it all directly to us um, for me to do. Uh, I'm a big proponent of learning how to fix all this stuff on my own. I'm not gonna pay someone if I don't have to. So I've already replaced everything, but I just wanna show you, this is the old one. So basically you have four screws that mount into the side wall and then uh, two lines you're gonna have to connect basically where the power's coming from. I had to snip the two lines and splice it because uh, the lines that came on the new water pump, they were long, but as I'll show you in a second, uh, matter of fact, let me just show you right now. Down here is what you're looking at is the new water pump mounted to the sidewall. This right here, I believe is just another screen water filter that's in there that catches, I've noticed it catches clear plastic. A lot of y'all probably already know this, but the top of that can unscrew and you can clean that out time to time if you're having water pressure issues. So when you're doing all this, make sure the water pump is off, the power is off. These are the two lines I had to splice. So I just cut it and spliced that line, the red power line, and then down here, I don't know if y'all can see this. This line right here, this white one, uh, connects to the black. So these are your two lines that you would have to splice. If not, one spliced way back here, which you probably can't see on this video, and I apologize, but you, I wasn't gonna be able to reach it. So I just cut it halfway, uh, spliced this power, the two power lines here. So it mounts right in to here. You're gonna unscrew to get the water pump out. You're gonna unscrew right here. And then on the other side, there's another spot you unscrew. Make sure you drain your water and you're nice and empty so you don't have any backflow because these lines, I mean, you do have the shut off from the black tank. I mean, not the black tank, the hot water tank, excuse me. So you can turn that off as well. So um, I've read in some of the blog posts and, and everything too that people sometimes mount them on the floor. I just went with the holes that were already in the RV. It, it, works, it works great now. Um, it's a lot less noisy. I think it gave out one time when Corey was taking a shower. So it's a year and a half of probably using it full time on the road before we got kind of stationary here in Georgia a little bit. And we use that water pump all the time because we were boondocking like crazy. So I don't know the uh, lifespan on these water pumps. You know, when you put 16,000 miles on a camper and always boondocking and using this thing, I guess they're gonna give out. It was an easy fix. Granted, if you're calling little guy, they'll probably, or your dealership, they'll probably know already. But offhand, if you wanted to look online for one of these or something like that, www.sureflow.com. You could probably buy one of these yourselves and uh, fix it. So that's a little guy pump fixing 101 on the little guy max. Sorry, I didn't have step-by-step -step showing you, but it's very simple. Like I said, you disconnect the two sides, connect the power, reconnect, and you're good to go. The pump did not come with that plastic, uh, the plastic um, water filter. So what I'm saying is when I ordered the pump, it did not come with this. This was already here. And the line on our little guy, Max, of 2018, it wasn't going to reach unless this got put back on. You're probably just going to get the water pump and not this uh, when you order. Uh, at least that's how it came for us. All 
All right, so we are gonna be fixing the light switches and the Little Guy Max. We ordered these um, from Little Guy. They sent them out to us. We're gonna do the repairs ourselves. You got two wires, it looks like here, we're gonna be connecting. I'm gonna be trying to just replace this plastic turn knob on some of these lights, but I know this one for sure has to be completely replaced. So unscrew this and see how this comes out and show you how to replace a light on the little guy. You got two screws to take out. And then this. Okay, so your wires here you see are gonna be in there. You're not gonna be able to get to them. Wow, so to fix this, I'm gonna have to take out the microwave. That's the only way to get inside there. So this is, Worst case scenario here. Um, I have to take out this microwave just to get to those wires. Um, I'm not too pleased about that. Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> Microwave's out. It wasn't that bad. It's four screws. It slides out. You have enough uh, power cord to actually pull out the microwave and set it down so you don't have to be surprised thinking it's going to teeter-totter or hang but right here is that black and white wire for these lights so as you can see it connects to these two so what i'm going to have to do is what i did before is i'm going to have to cut this splice it and reconnect to have the proper connection so it looks like we're going to have to do a little splicing and uh put this new one in so here we go all righty so you got the two wires they are prime and ready to connect to the other ones we're gonna go ahead and put the butt splice on both of these. All right. Smash it. All right. Okay, now we're gonna feed this. You wanna take the black and white ones and feed them through the big hole. Grab them. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and screw in this light socket as well. So it just holds the support of the wires. So I'm gonna sit there and hold the wires. So that might be a good trick. Stabilize things when you're working, especially if you're by yourself. So where you don't have to hold it, try to hold on and make it harder when you're working on two different sides of things. Whether it's, my rule of thumb is whether it's electrical tape or what, you know, just have something hold it or tighten one screw in. So now your hands are free. You don't have to worry about the that light fixture like hanging or pulling on the wires. So we should be connected now. Yeah, we are. I just saw the light come on. <laughs> so these wires are now connected. Woo, we have a light. Look at that. Finally, we have a light underneath the uh, stove top in sync let's go get Corey she's gonna be happy she can see when she's doing the dishes and cooking and I can see when I'm doing the dishes and cooking too so got something to show you the puppies look at these ones look at these ones these are the puppies what you, what you got there is that a donut you wanna show everyone your donut? Look at your donut. Look at your donut. Puppy. So. The people have already seen, but I wanna show you. So you have to take out the microwave to get to it. And these are the two wires you splicing that I spliced. But now, power yay that's amazing i said now we can uh actually see when we're doing dishes and cooking and yeah stuff. yeah it's 
So, all right, I'm gonna put this all back together, but that's how you repair a light. And so we need to do this one because we broke the uh, tab and we have one in the shower as well where the tab I broke over time, just flicking it and pushing it. So be gentle. But uh, that's fixing lights 101 and the little guy, these little LEDs. Um, a couple of our friends have different, they've gotten different, uh, what would you say? Brightnesses and stuff. You can change oh, these yeah. too. They don't have to be that bright LED. You can give them different light. I mean, y'all know there's all kinds of different light shades. I was gonna say light shades, but yeah, just brightness like levels and everything. So, but if you're finding these videos helpful, as always, like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share, and we'll have more content coming to you. But let's put the microwave back in and get back down to business. Join the road. Join the road. Go play. Go play.